Hello viewers, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today we're going to see how to install one of the most popular graph based database Neo4j on Linux Mint 18.3. Before that, let me give a short introduction about Neo4j database. It is known to be a number one graph based platform to store and query connected data. Connected data is a form of data which can be a best defined in the form of relationships and also it is possibly a very good solution for storing and querying the kind of data so let's proceed with the installation in order to install this java needs to be installed in our machine so let's start with the java installation first add this repository Now the repository has been added. Now update the repository packages. And then the next step will be installing the Oracle Java 8 installer. Now the Oracle Java 8 has been installed and to set it as default run the following command Now it's been set as a default the next step will be installing a Neo4j database. To start, add the Neo4j to the package manager. You can do this by using the following command. Now Neo4j has been added to the apt package manager. Now run the command apt get update to update the repositories. Next step will be installing a Neo4j. Neo4j has been installed. Now let's check the status. If you see here, it's been installed but it is inactive. In order to active, run the following command. Now it's been active and running. Here you can see that when we run the Neo4j service, it actually starts its default port which is 7687. Once it starts, we can visit it with the Neo4j panel in the browser using the following URL. Now go to your browser and then type localhost followed by the port number the port number will be 7474 
as you can see here database access not available please use the server connect to establish the connection so click on the server connect and then the default password will be neo4j now it will prompt you for entering the new password It is over now and this is how you install a Neo 4J database to store and query connected data. I hope this tutorial will be helpful. Thank you for watching this video. Hey, if you like our channel, please don't forget to subscribe. For more videos, please do visit www.linuxhelp.com and also mail us to support.linuxhelp.com for further queries.